Good morning. Good old GED Jack. He can't win even when he doesn't talk in a video. But the boy's stupid. His last video, it's Officer Metal, who apparently Jack has a hard on for, but Metal keeps winning. So Jack is just desperately trying to find something to smear Metal with. And Jack found a video. And Jack put it up on his channel without context, without commentary. And it's Metal who is restraining a young lady, allowing people to film while he does it. And, uh, yeah, he's restraining a young lady who's screaming and shouting and, and carrying on resisting. And he's, he's, basically, he's basically restraining her with one hand while he's uh, interacting with uh, somebody else who is, you know, concerned about that she didn't do nothings. Now, where Jack fails, well, he fails in a lot of ways, but where Jack fails on this particular video, and again, he fails a lot of ways on this particular video, is number one, he doesn't provide us any context. You may wonder why Officer Metal was at a school, why he was at a charter school, why he was at Puro Vida or Por Vida or something like that. Por Vida, I think it's Por Vida. Translates to For Life. Por Vida Charter High School. Hmm, why was he there? Well, if you look at Por Vida Charter High School, uh, their charter's about to get revoked because about 30% of their class is up to snuff academically. As opposed to like the 75 to 85 percent for the rest of Texas, so it's a it's a tough school, tough school, tough kids, right? And uh, police officers don't just magically appear; they were called. So Officer Meadow was responding to a call where this young lady was acting up, and it wasn't Officer Metal who thought she was acting up; it was probably her teacher or something along those lines. And this was over a year ago. Uh, this video was first published that I could find mid-April, April 19th of 2018. So it's been a year, Jack. It's been a year. Officer Metal, you might think he used unreasonable force. But then the question I ask all these people is, how much force do you think it would take? How would you have done it differently? He didn't hit her. He didn't tase her. He didn't pull his firearm. And let me tell you, it is hard to restrain a young woman who doesn't want to be restrained. Just ask Earl. He had to resort to firearms to do it. So there's your sign. Anyway, after a year, um, I think California, in California, a 1983 lawsuit would, would be two years for something like that. Statute of limitations in California is two years on that kind of stuff. So in Texas, I'm not sure what their statute of limitations is, but to the best of my knowledge, I couldn't find any lawsuits filed by this young lady. Her last name is Rodriguez Florence, or I think. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, yeah, it's amazing what you could find if you actually give a little bit of context to it. So Officer Rodriguez was called for her because hmm, she was mouthing off. And the Oh, well, that's not a crime. Well, you know what? In school it is. School loco parentis. They get to they get to control the students just like they were your your parents and they get to call the police on you if you're acting up and causing an issue. They don't have to the teachers don't have to resort to personally dragging you out of the classroom. They get to they get to call the police to do it. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'm sure I'm sure I'll get lots of snarky comments about how you're you're backing the police. And yeah, this time I am. Officer Metal didn't do a damn thing wrong. He deserves a medal for his performance. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Ba-doom. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.